in one of my earlier videos, a couple of years back, I showed videos of some of the greatest players and how their feet moved. You could sh see the full motion, then I zoomed in on their feet, and you could see a distinct movement of pressures in the feet that were happening. Let's have a look at some of that now. So there is a reason behind all that, and that's the opposition of the forces that I talk about. So when our, we're going to use our feet, very stable, very important part of the golf swing. So the main focus on the feet is balance. So when this club is moving around us, we need to be in balance down here to maintain the control of the club up above. So what's happening down below is going to be a real indicator of what can happen up above. And I see a lot of people that come to me for lessons and I see it on TV when you watch some of the golfers today. And there's a lot of standing, you know, a lot of pressure coming out of the feet into a stand-up. So, you know, that's just one way you really book. Poor golfer will, you know, do the too much weight on this side and then back on the other side lots of different variations of different things. The best players all kept in balance in their feet. Now the easiest way to explain this would be like when we're walking. You know, we balance ourselves when we walk and as we walk it becomes right foot forward, we, our heel hits, our left toe guides us, holds us, supports us as the right toe goes down, our left heel goes down. So our feet, you know, when we walk, that's balance. Our feet know how to do that. As soon as I get too much weight onto my outer, my left foot, my right foot's gonna come up. Obviously the opposite, if I go too far this way onto my right foot, my left heel's gonna come up. That's just our body balancing itself. We don't even have to think about that. So where this gets tricky in the golf swing, if we lose our balance in our feet and it's not working in a circular motion like when we walk, we're always trying to balance ourselves against a moving object. And that's when we lose our control of our strike, our speed happens in the wrong areas. We're constantly fighting our balance properties down below in an attempt to try and hit the ball. So the footwork is a real, real important in the golf swing and we'll see uh, in a lot of golf swings you'll see you know some people get this right heel up Tiger being an example Gary Player got that he right heel up there's really nothing too wrong with that all that really shows is there's a lot of pressure has moved into the outer extremities of your left foot that's just balance so you know Nicholas went very high up on the way back here and so did Bobby Jones. They planted it and you know, both got up. So there's nothing wrong, there's, there's no logic behind trying to keep your right foot down. You know, we, a lot of people will talk about that, but it's really balanced. If things are working properly, the feet are gonna do what they're gonna do. What we really want though is, you know, in my findings of playing and coaching, I find the more we can pressure into our right foot, not go outside, but pressure down into the right foot on the way back, this heel's going to come up. As we push down our right foot again, that heel's going to replant and bump me forward. Now I'm in balance. And as the club moves and my weight starts to work forward, then the weight starts to go into my left balls in my foot and possibly onto the outer ranges of my left foot and then my right foot's going to come up and of course up to the finish. So there's no use trying to limit what's happening here and that's one of the reasons why I always talk the more rounded the swing feels 
the more our pressures work in our feet, just like we were walking, we can balance ourselves much easier. As soon as I get up and force that club down, it pulls my weight onto my toes, you can see. So the only way for me to balance against that instead of falling over is to stand up. So that's an out of balance swing. Now in that video where we could see you know, a lot of the, the, the closing of the gap had impact, the right foot getting pulled a little bit, that really has a lot to do with the pressures working on the insides of the feet more. And you can see that in Nicholas and Hogan and you know, they have Mo Norman, they have a lot of this type of motion where the, the pressures are more balanced on the insides of the feet close the gap, the more pressure you push down into the ground, into the swing or into the strike, to make a better observation, the more resistance we're building into the ground to allow this body to work. It needs an opposite to work against. So I really don't agree with trying to get on the left and stay left. I don't agree with trying to force your way to the left. To me that's out of balance and I'm going to have to make some compensatory move with my hands or arms or torso to try and make up for that. So if I could just swing round, round, you can see how my feet really work in balancing me around the moving club. The more I can accelerate or feel my speed over this side of the ball, you can see that little foot grab because I'm still pressuring the earth here with my feet and that pressure is then getting pulled away as my body turns better. So I'm creating resistance to make this work better and that's swinging in balance. I'm controlling the club because I don't have to compensate against any misbalance in my feet. Second shot at the 10th from Bradley Hughes. So to summarise that, we were all born with balance. We were all born with properties. We all know if we're leaning that way, we, we know how to balance ourselves against falling flat on our face. So when we swing the golf club, we want to remain how our body works. And that would be at a dress somewhere 50-50. Then we're balanced against that. We create a little bit of tilt because our right arm is lower. Just little things like that. We, we don't want to get too much forward here because then we're really sort of blocking our turn. The more we weight's going here, the more we're losing balance that way. We tend to reverse too much weight on the right. We tend to want to go back this way. So if we can be 50-50, and as we turn, our weight pressure works into our, more towards our right heel. Left heel comes up. As we start down, push down into both feet again. So there's still pressure down the right leg, we're not just jumping left. There's pressure down both feet, which provides a separation. Now we've got a whole balance in our whole feet. We're back to where we started, we've just got a little bit of turn now. And then as the mass of the club starts to catch up, our weight will work more onto our left the right leg will start to drive so as the weight gets into the left heel right the heel comes up balance it's very simple anytime we go against how our body and brain knows how to balance ourselves we make a compensatory move to try and remain in balance and that's where we go off with the club or our hands or our body so if you can think of something very basic do a lot of practice swing, just feeling the feet. You watch how the body and arms and clubs swing with it. So the feet are really important in the swing. They provide the stability. They provide the resistance to allow our body to work properly. And they provide the control to help us move the club better. 50-50 is a great feel. What will happen is the longer the club, the wider our feet will be for us to balance ourselves properly. So for a driver or fairway wood, long iron, my feet are going to be wider, I'm probably going to feel like I'm maybe a little bit more over my right leg, but I'm just trying to stay very level with everything, shorter the shot, or wedge, or 
pitching and everything, we're going to feel more on our left, and that's really got to do with where our spine or our head is. It's not really what's happening in the feet. The feet are really remaining constant. So if I went too far to my left, you can see my right heel wants to come up. If I went too far to my right, my left heel is going to come up. So I'm really in balance doing that. It's 50-50, even though it'll feel different based on the width and where my head and spine total body mass is in relation to the ball.